Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the ninth house posited in the third house in the natal horoscope. Well, as most of you know, the ninth house is connected with philosophy, long journeys, higher education, broad concepts, expansion. You look at the third house as just general communications, short journeys, the early education in brothers and sisters or siblings. Well, anyway, the uh, first thing is uh, the person's philosophy or outlook on life may come out strongly in this person's communication and might compel this person to communicate and this is the kind of thing that people will see in this person that their philosophical nature or their I should say their philosophies and ideas their opinions broad concepts come out comes out through their communication uh, their philosophies and outlook on life can can impact their relationship with their siblings uh, perhaps their long journeys, their traveling, uh, might inspire them to take more quicker, uh, quicker journeys, uh, short, I guess you could say short distance traveling. Uh, this person, their broad concepts may come out in their communication. Well, this person's, uh, you could say maybe their expansive optimism may come out uh, through their communications as well. Their, I guess you could say, their higher education, uh, their choices they make connected with possibly college, uh, could impact their communication and their, uh, you know, overall situation or their rapport with brothers and sisters. Uh, perhaps the person goes to college and doesn't see these people for a while, but we look at the ninth house as a providential house and it's something where. I think in most cases it should give a good rapport. It would be auspicious for the relationship with brothers and sisters, assuming the person has any. But at the same time, if it's adversely aspected or the planet receives as predominantly has negative aspects, that could possibly impact. Uh, you know, I guess you could say the uh, the relationship with the brothers and sisters. If we look at uh, some other things with this is that um, publishing is connected with the ninth house as well and the publishing uh, maybe their ideas on this or just public I guess you could say publishing in general might impact communications perhaps the person uh, thinks about publishing something and that inspires them to uh, I guess you could say to communicate things in writing Perhaps the person uh, publishing might, maybe they'll publish something that has something about their brothers and sisters and about their, regarding their communication um, experiences. This could be something where this person might, um, I guess you could say, their, their need for college or possibly higher education might come out strongly figure prominently in their communications. The ninth house is also the in-laws as well and the in-laws might figure in play a dominant role in their communication style. The ninth house is connected with foreign uh, countries, cultures, so if this this can come out in their communication and if so this could be something where maybe this person is bilingual and speaks multiple languages since the ninth house is connected with things that are of a foreign culture and people that are foreign might have a certain thing where it impacts their communication style and maybe this person likes to speak Spanglish for example and they incorporate this into their I guess you could say their day-to-day -day communications this person, their ideas, consider, considering their broad concepts, might come out, the profound thinking might come out in this person's communication with others. The, this person's, uh, 
I guess you could say their higher education might um, might be somewhat I guess you could say might play an integral role I guess you could say in their communication their just general communications uh, with others perhaps this person is in college and maybe a lot of the people that they're associated with in college there are people that they talk to on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis for example and um, you know the ninth house is is connected of course with philosophy and this person might have um, an abundance of ideas and things that are that will I guess you could say might uh, could maybe impact themselves in, in terms of their their short journeys or their I guess in their own their own neighborhood uh, maybe they have certain ideas that are connected uh, with their neighborhood their philosophies that they share with people in that community and in their general uh, neighborhood with their brothers and sisters and like, enjoy sharing their ideas and, um, and thoughts with them profound ideas I should say so anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ruler of the ninth house posited in the third house of the natal horoscope stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the ninth house and the fourth house in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.